Welcome to our exploration of calculus fundamentals. Today, we're diving into the two concepts that form the bedrock of all calculus. As presented in Tom Apostol's masterful textbook, these aren't just abstract mathematical ideas. They're the tools that help us understand change and accumulation in our world. Let's discover how the derivative and integral work together to unlock the secrets of continuous mathematics. Our first fundamental concept is the derivative, the mathematical. Way to capture instantaneous rate of change. Imagine you're driving and want to know your exact speed at a specific moment. Your speedometer gives you this instantaneous rate of change of your position. Mathematically, you start with the slope of a secant line between two points on a curve. As we see here, the slope between points A and B is simply rise over run. The difference in Y values divided by the difference in X values, but here's where calculus becomes magical. Watch what happens as we bring point B closer and closer to point A. The secant line transforms into a tangent line, and we capture the instantaneous rate of change at that exact point. This limiting process gives us the derivative f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. For our example, function f of x equals x squared. This yields f prime of x equals 2x. The derivative tells us how fast something is changing at any given moment, whether it's velocity, growth rates, or the slope of any curve. Our second fundamental concept is the integral, the mathematical tool for measuring accumulated change or area under a curve. While the derivative asks how fast, the integral asks how much total. We begin with the intuitive idea of approximating area using rectangles. This is called a Riemann sum. We divide our region into thin vertical strips and approximate the area with rectangles, whose heights match the function value as we use more and more rectangles. Each becoming thinner, our approximation becomes more accurate. The integral is defined as the limit of this process, the limit of the Riemann sum. As the number of rectangles approaches infinity and their width approaches zero, this gives us the definite integral. It's the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of f of x i times delta x. The integral doesn't just measure area. It quantifies any accumulated change. Whether we're calculating distance from velocity, work from force, or probability from density functions, the integral is our tool for aggregating infinitesimal contributions into finite totals. Now comes the breathtaking revelation that connects our two concepts, the fundamental theorem of calculus. This theorem reveals that derivatives and integrals are inverse operations. They undo each other. Part 1 tells us that if we integrate a function and then differentiate the result, we get back our original function. In symbols, the derivative. With respect to x of the integral from a to x of f of t dt equals f of x. Part 2 shows us that if we differentiate a function and then integrate the result, we get back the net change in our original function. In symbols, the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx equals f of b minus f of a. This connection is profound. It means that the process of finding instantaneous rates of change and the pro process of accumulating change are fundamentally linked. One undoes the other like addition and subtraction, or multiplication and division. This theorem doesn't just connect to its mathematical operations. It unifies the entire structure of calculus and makes most calculus computations possible. We've just explored the two pillars supporting all of calculus. The derivative captures instantaneous change, how fast something is changing at any moment. The integral measures accumulated change, the total effect of all those instantaneous changes. Together, connected by the fundamental theorem of calculus. These concepts give us the power to analyze continuous change in everything from physics, to economics, to biology, as Apostel emphasizes in his text. These ideas form the foundation upon which all advanced mathematics is built. Understanding these fundamentals deeply will serve as your gateway to mastering calculus and appreciating. It's incredible applications across science and engineering. Thank you for joining this mathematical journey.